finally, I have the Casio G-Shock model, which is the GA2100SKE model that apparently is very difficult to get hold of. Some people like to refer to this as Cassie Oak Skeleton, that is. Uh, but along with that, I also have the uh, G-Shock GA110 uh, RG model that I've owned for a few years. And my favorite of all time, which is the Tag Heuer uh, Carrera, which is the 42 mil, by the way. And lastly, my uh, Tag Heuer connected third generation smart watch as well. And the reason I'm actually naming these product and showing you these product is one of the biggest elements I look into before I buy the wristwatch is fact how big my um, wrist is comparing to the actual model. And I'm sure many of you out there, if you actually own one of these models, you can find out whether the newly released Casio G-Shock of uh, GA2100 SKE is gonna fit to your wrist nicely or not. So um, my favorite is 42 mil, by the way, but enough said, let's get into the unboxing of the new Casio G-Shock. So here it goes. Just like any other G-Shock model, we got the actual manual um, and so on. And if you open up the metal case, lovely. Oh, so what we have here is a card that actually you could shape it and place it onto your nice metal case. And uh, lastly, what we have here is the actual G-Shock model okay so here it comes out nice look at that that is one nice piece of work so it looks really nice here but what immediately i don't like is this strap here which is seemed too clear i wish there was a bit more pattern on it but there's only the pattern on the edge here and um and so on on the back side let's actually focus on that it's carbon cord guard um, Casio made in Japan, steel back, and etc. So that's um, pretty much it. So, really nice indeed, isn't it? So, immediately, if we compare the size against my uh, Tagoy Connected third generation, it feels smaller actually comparing to it, and that is really good news. So, if I were to place it along next to my um, Tag Heuer Carrera model, they seem kind of similar feel. Again, I love 42 mil. I think they fit perfectly well on my wrist. While as if I were to place it next to the G-Shock, um, the uh, GA110 RG model, it's bigger. And that's one of the biggest reasons I don't really much wear the G-Shock, even though it looks like a Batman kind of feel with the rose gold and the black feel. So if I were to try it on, Yeah, that's really nice fit actually. Um, and once I get the strap adjusted well, and um, yeah, it feels really light, comfortable. And um, the fact that I like about it is that, yeah, it's the right size for my wrist, I have to say. And um, G-Shock, we all know that it's really well made and it's gonna be well protected with all these things. And um, yeah, it's really cool indeed. So I hope this video quickly demonstrated how well it fits on my wrist size. And um, I love it actually, especially when I actually click on the uh, light button, the way how the screen actually pops up in, is in blue color. I don't know whether you can see on the camera, but it's really beautiful actually. Somehow it's very trendy, um, clear. I can see why people fall into this uh, sort of uh, model and it's so well sold at the moment. But for me, I just don't like the strap when I actually look on the bottom side of the actual wrist. But then again, when why do I need to? Because I could always look at the top side, which is a brilliant, um, nice size Casio G-Shock skeleton Cassie Oak model. So anyway, so I hope this video um, answered your queries. But if you have any other further queries regards to this model or anything that I could help, please do comment below. And I'll try to come back to you as soon as possible. Thank you very much for watching this video. This is LJP Tech. All the best. Bye-bye.